Hey guys, it's Callie. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I made a nebula necklace. My friend Sarah posted a picture of these amazing nebula bottles on my Facebook page. And I think it was based on a Pinterest post. And if I can find it, I'll link it below. But you guys know I just had to give these a try. And they're just beautiful. And then I took it one step further and I turned one of them into a necklace. Because everybody needs a nebula necklace, don't you think? So if this looks interesting to you guys, I think you should stick around and I'll show you how I did it. It is super simple and these are really addicting. So I'm just going to jump right into it here. Um, you're obviously going to need an empty glass bottle. Uh, with a lid. So I happen to have some of these little little guys right here. Um, I think I got like six of them for maybe two dollars at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. You could also use um, like an empty spice jar or a baby food jar, any kind of empty glass bottle. But I've, I've found that the smaller ones work better. Um, I tried a bigger one, it didn't come out as well. So glass bottle, and then you will definitely need, and this is the magic ingredient, some cotton balls, any size, it doesn't matter. You will need some dyes, um, purples, blues, blacks. I don't really think it much matters what kind of dye. You could also probably use uh, food coloring. Um, you could use homemade dye. This is navy and dark purple. And I have some homemade alcohol dye. This one's almost done. Needs more alcohol. But these are just cut up magic markers and alcohol. And I have this one as well. Um, I saw Eileen McKinnis leave her Sharpies in her jars too. I do the same thing, Eileen. And that's super easy. You guys can make your own dyes. I'm sure you all know this by now. But cut up your old magic markers. Put them in a baby food jar with some uh, rubbing alcohol. And voila! So that, and then I, you know, I gotta have my Aileen's Tacky Glue, right? And you're gonna need some kind of glitter, and I found that the finer the glitter, the better it is. I had tried uh, using some of this heavier or bigger glitter, and I didn't like the looks of it, but use whatever you like. I'm choosing to use some of this glitter glue and uh, we're leaking here some of my glitter nail polish so this uh, has been working really good and then I'm just going to be using a pipette to help pull my um, die up as well as a pair of chopsticks to help push the uh, cotton balls down And I have a glass of water here, just plain old water. I have some cording, if we're going to make a necklace, as well as some eye screws to put in the top of the cork. Okay, so I'm just going to jump right in here because, again, I told you guys, it just takes a second, especially with these super small bottles you really can't go wrong so you're gonna take your bottle and I would suggest either pouring a little bit of your fine glitter in there or what I'm going to do because I'm gonna be using my glitter glue and it's sticky and hard to I want to be able to rub it on the inside of the bottle so I'm just gonna put a little bit on my chopstick Okay, pretty decent size amount. And I'm just going to smear it on the inside of the bottle. Just kind of randomly all over. And this is like a white and clear, um, kind of glow in the darky glitter. And then I love this nail polish. 
Um, this is Clean Color Nail Liqueur in Holochrome. And I think I got it on Amazon. I was using this when I was making my Galaxy Stones also. I'm just going to, because I'm just using this bottle for crafts, I don't care. So I'm just going to stick the glittery chopstick right in it. It's easier than using the brush. And get some on there. And we're just, again, going to wipe on the inside of the bottle. Do that one more time. And then we're going to start adding our cotton balls. So you just see it's kind of randomly in there. And when I, I'll use the same stick to push our cotton balls in. So that will also get glitter on it. And then we're going to start adding our cotton balls. So the first one that I made, I definitely packed way too tight. You don't need to shove them in there. So just kind of take it and pull it apart a little bit. Fluffy like a cloud. And then we're just going to push it down in with our chopstick. And yes, this will get stuck all over your chopstick, and that's fine. And you see what I'm saying? You can see the glitter. Um swirled there. So, and then when you have this first little bit, I'm going to add the first layer of color and I'm going to do purple. Get in there. And so I'm just going to use my pipette. You can use the, um, dropper that the ink comes with if you'd like but I just the, the pipette holds more so I'm just going to and put it right on the cotton okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some water now. Okay. And you want to get that one pretty saturated. Again, there's really no right way to do this, you guys. And you're going to see it's a lot of fun. So you're going to want to... I'm just adding water, water, water. Okay, now I'm going to go for our second layer. And same thing, I'm going to, let me put the lid on this before we have a little disaster. I'm going to put in our cotton and I'm going to use my little chopstick. And it's amazing, these little um, jars, I might have even done a little bit too much purple there, but these little jars hold a lot of cotton. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay. All righty. Oh, maybe one more. Look at that, you guys. Can already see already how cool that looks okay and same thing now I'm gonna go in with the blue and I'm gonna use my pipette as opposed to um, and we're just dropping that blue right on top And I'm going to put one more. Cotton in here. So you just, you know, go back and forth, alternate until you find uh, what color looks 
best for you and what you like. You can do, I've seen people do them in every color of the rainbow. So, uh, look at that on the bottom. That is amazing. All right, I'm going to put in one more. And just, I used an awful lot of purple, you guys. Might not use as much purple the next time. Let's see, I'm going to put in one more. Believe it or not. Okay. All right, you guys. And again, you can, you know, try alternating. Um, let's do one more just because I think I really did put a little bit too much of the purple. I'm going to put that upside down just to let it kind of fill up here. All right, let's try one more. I got this guy. We got this down to a science now, right? Uh, these are just so cool looking. I, you know, I stuck one in my little potion cabinet and I thought they would be cool to um, do as a fun kids project. And you know, I'm a big kid. So. Yeah. Okay, you guys, I would love to see if you guys try this. Let me know and post some pictures and show me what you came up with. So now I'm going to go back in with this amazing holographic nail polish glitter. And do a nice big chunk on the side there it seems like the last one that kind of got stuck on the bottom okay and then we're gonna grab our cotton balls because we can and like i said i'm gonna try to not put as much purple this time get that guy in there let's just do a real light Dab. Where's my pipette? I'm going to clean it out in the water first. And there we go. All right. Like I said, we're just going to... Last time I got a little carried away. You guys should have told me to stop. Okay, so that's the purple. Oh yeah, I can tell already that I'm liking this one better. If you pack the cotton too tight, it just looks, you can almost see it, you know. Um, it's really, this one, you can tell it's kind of hard to tell. So I'm going to just leave it. It's not a mistake, but just to show you guys what can happen. But I had so much fun making these today. Ooh, look at that. Okay, I'm going to come in with some blue now. And I wanted to try one with some of that homemade ink I had over there. So let's see. Oh, yeah, for some reason, I'm just liking this one better. Each one's unique, you know. You definitely can't duplicate these, but look at that, you guys. Okay, I'll give it a little tiny dip of water just to kind of mix it around there. And then I'm going to put a little here, and this time I'm going to try the uh, homemade dye that I did. right on top oh yeah look at that beautiful pink okay you guys and I'm gonna say that's it for that 
and we're going to put the top on. I hope I stayed in frame through this process. And look at this, you guys. Oh my goodness. Hold on, just, oh. Man, is that special, huh? Look at that. Okay, it's supposed to look like the galaxies. So play around and experiment. And then when you have one that you've liked, that you like, and again, this is cool, but you can see there's way too much fluid in there. Um, I think I might let some of that out and kind of pull the cotton apart later. But for now, if you've decided that you want to make a, a necklace out of one of them, just take one of your little eye screws Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to put a little dab of some uh, tacky glue here just to be safe. We don't want to have any mishaps. Just around the outside. I'll wipe it off. And then, and I will get a cloth and just clean that off. I'm going to take the eye screw that we have right here. And these, I mean, this is cork, so no problem. Just kind of hold it. And without tearing at the cork, you want to push very firmly down in the center and just start twisting to the right. All the way down. And then it's as simple as that, you guys. And then we're just going to cut our cord. We're going to cut the cord. Um, and you could put, you know, a clasp on the end of this if you want. Uh, I'm not going to get that fancy. Oh, i got to grab a scissor, guys. Hang on one second. Sorry about that. Right here. But I'm just going to make a, a plain tie that's going to go right around our neck. And thread our thread through. And then just a simple knot. gosh and there you have it you guys there's your nebula necklace so I hope you enjoyed this project um, they're super fun and cute great kids craft give me a thumbs up if you like this um, any constructive criticism is always welcome I hope you guys are having a beautiful day and I will talk to you very soon. I'm going to go clean this necklace up and then I will be wearing it. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.